Greetings, Love Choppers! <laughs> Hey everybody, my name's uh, Jared Dines. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a bit. And today, <laughs> today we're here to talk about Rob's Scallons, yeah. incredible new signature guitars from Chapman Guitars. Thank and, you. Um, we've had a lot of fun playing these today. Rob Scallon, for crimes against the gent community, you have been incarcerated for a thousand years. Smelling them, tasting them, <laughs> every every sense has been filled with these guitars. Yeah, this is this is my first day actually with the the production models. I've had the prototypes for a really long time. Yeah, this is really exciting. It's also really great to be on this channel. It's yeah, it's, it's really great to have you on this channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a second, I forgot which channel we were on. <laughs> Not like we were on Channel Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. So we've got two guitars. Why don't you talk us through the spec, what they're called, what they are, yes. and then uh, and then we'll just chat about some of the spec and some of the bits. Fantastic. Okay, so this is the, I can even read it on the headstock now, it's not the prototype if I wanted to. This is the ML18RS. Uh, that rolls model. off the tongue, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, not really. The ML18RS. <laughs> <laughs> you could say RS8. I, right. I see people like on Twitter calling it the RS8. RS8. That's a, yeah, it's not official, but it's a bit. Okay. RS8. <laughs> Sounds like you say okay. RS. RS8. 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 But that's fine. Yeah, that's, you know, that's that's what it's called. Um, so it's it's neck through mahogany uh -huh. with swamp ash wings. We have um, locking tuners at the top. We have a rose wood fingerboard. We have 24 frets. We have custom pickups. We have a hip shot. Uh, that's locking. a bridge. Yeah. You call that a bridge. Yeah, this is a bridge. A uh, hip shot bridge, um, just fixed. Coil tap it, three way switch. Um, it comes stock with strap locks. Awesome. Which I, is, which I think is really cool. That's the other side. Touch. Yeah, come, come in the case. Because you wouldn't want to drop that on your foot, would you? No, no. Well, it's not very heavy at all. I would consider like a regular weight. Like that was some, something that I thought was really important. Sometimes when you pick up extended range guitars, they're, they're too heavy and they kind of hurt your okay. back. And, and this is absolutely not that. Though it, though it is mahogany, but with the Swamp Ash wings being really lightweight, yeah. it, it takes the weight off and it just gets to be a normal guitar weight. So this is the Rob Scallon signature yeah. model guitar, but you would be thinking of not even knowing. If they didn't know who you were, you'd look at it and you wouldn't, it doesn't right. say Rob Scallon on the front no. or on the neck or anywhere. No. There's there some is, subtle branding. There are some subtle Yeah, things. Yeah, like the, the, first, the first song I ever wrote with an H-string guitar was called Anchor. So there's, there's anchors on the pickups and, oh, there's, and there's anchors on the back. Here, you can see that, just a, just a bit subtle, so it doesn't have, you know, my name on it or anything. I don't know who would do that. But, uh, yeah, if, if you didn't know who I was or didn't see any of my videos, this would just be a really, really rad guitar that you might see in a shop. And it really is a rad guitar from Rob Oh, Scanner. man, yeah. Uh, and what's Rabia bravely, boldly holding in his yeah, hands? Yeah, he, he's holding the... It looks so small, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the six-string version, mm -hmm. so this is the ML1 RS. Uh, and this would be considered the RS6, I guess, because yeah. it's a six string. Pass um, it to Rob's and I'll hold this eights. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> but it's pretty much the same guitar, isn't it? It's just the six string version. Yeah, it just has two less two less strings. So. Yeah. Um, Sometimes two less is two more though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this sounds great though. I was playing it earlier and it's just got a really... I like the weight of the guitar, personally, mm -hmm. of both of them. But I also think that the 
acoustic resonance of both is really good. For me. That's all about the tone words. Yeah. <laughs> I like what I really enjoy. All right, now we're going to go into like politics and religion oh, no, no, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, what I love most about the eight string was that although it's very much an eight string, you kind of pick it up and go, huh, it plays really easily like a six string. <laughs> Been designed so well, and I'm really grateful to the fact yeah. that you did some great work designing this. <laughs> well, I didn't do it alone, but I'm very, very, very proud of it. You'll never alone. Yeah. Something I wanted to point out that I actually really like is the different point headstock. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, this is new. The headstock shape is unique to the Rob Scallon signatures, mm -hmm. so I really, really like that. And uh, the matte black locking tuners are mm. pretty cool too. Yeah. In fact, it's all really good. You're never going to see a dirty one in Rob's house because apparently he cleans <laughs> them with a pressured air can. Well, so, uh, just right before I, I'm going to film the up close shots for videos, I have uh, you know one of those air pressure cans and I spray it to get all the, the dust off. I think that's just a beautiful... I, well, bet you it, I bet you tuck them into bed and read them a story as well. <laughs> well, it, the dust really comes out in right. those really up-close shots if you don't, don't take care of it. It absolutely does. Yeah. And I, for one, am incredibly glad and proud that we have a chat with an artist that really cares for a good guitar that way. Yeah. The, uh, so, I have a question. Playing. I have a question. With regards to the eight string, yeah. now normally people associate eight strings with progressive metal yes. gent uh yeah. just really heavy stuff and it's uh, it, you could argue that they play relatively low strings and just keep it on the low strings but mm. you're a very unique eight string player and so Thanks. with the design of this guitar were you focusing more on your own personal taste and, and needs for what an eight string does or were you taking into consideration what the public might perceive the eight string to be or how they you know use it in their own music kind of well uh kind of Kind of both. I feel like there's a, a market for an eight string guitar that can both sound and look uh, proper for a lot of different mm -hmm. genres isn't really out there. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted. When I came to you about this, I said we need to do an eight string um, that fills in this, this gap in the market. And I'm just kind of hoping that there's other people that agree. Yeah. Um, so it's it a bit, bit of a mix of both, but that was the original idea that I came to you with. Mm. To be clear, they didn't. The company didn't come to me. <laughs> well, hold on. Now. Like, hey, I've known oh, you I, got an, I got an idea. Yeah, but this the signature was uh, I came to you guys. Yes. 
So some people uh, might say, like, oh, Rob, isn't it cool that a guitar company reached out to you to do a signature? That's it's not like, what happened. That is not what happened. Like, I came to you guys, like, hey, I got an idea. Yeah. Um, I want to make an eight string that everyone can play polka on. <laughs> or uh, soca. Yeah. Or so, gent jazz. Or gent. Yes. It can also gent your face off. Gent is a new style. Doubt. It is very important that it's able to do that. But, but it can also, even just by the looks of it, it, it wouldn't be odd if you were playing, you know, not metal. I, yeah, I mean, I could see this in a many a different application. Um, I had another question around the pickups. Like, what was the process behind sort of choosing the sound of the pickups for you? Like, so this is what did you need from them to be able to do? So really where that came from and what I told you guys in the beginning was I had I had the uh, ML7 mm -hmm. and I really really mm -hmm. liked the kind of spread that I got from that with you know metal crunchy or clean tones and so I kind of came to you guys and said let's just extend that to eight yeah two more bobbins yeah <laughs> two, two more magnet poles at the end yeah yeah stretch really. it yeah they're so, really good though. So I'm not sure, do you happen to know, probably not off the top of your head, the exact spec. Oh, I know nothing about that. I believe it's yeah. a ferrite ceramic magnet in this pickup. That's the only thing I knew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which means that it's got quite a, a powerful low end. Mm -hmm. or it will do more so than Nalnica 2. Um, but it's also going to be quite a mid-rangey sort of sound. Like, it's going to be quite aggressive when you need it to be. Yeah. So that's all I know in terms of what a ceramic magnet yeah. sounds like. Mm -hmm. Well, I noticed that the six-string backed off really great. Yeah. And proper cleaned up the yeah. style. I kind of wanted a, you know, just a really solid foundation tone that you can, you know, stretch in a lot of different directions rather than, like, a, I, I see a lot of extended range guitars that have, like, active pickups, and that's great for certain things, but when you kind of go into clean, kind of, recording turns into a little bit of an uphill battle. So it was really important to me that it was 24 fret, because I figure as long as you are doing extended range, you might as well, you might as well extend the range a little bit in the other direction, too. And for my song, Anchor, that's like one of the first notes is this guy right there. So uh, so I went with 24 fret. Um, that's generally what I prefer with you know any, any guitar, really. And then I didn't notice this at NAMM with the prototypes at first, because I, I first picked up one of these and was doing a lot of tappy stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a huge shred guy. It's, it's pretty rare that I do that type of thing. And then Jared picked it up, and thanks to Jared, he noticed that there wasn't much access to that 24th fret. Right. And so we added this cut, and that's new and, and looks really nice too. But So that that is Jared. Um, Sometimes less wood is more good. Yeah. Less wood is more, is more good. <laughs> yeah. cool. I knew yeah. he wouldn't be able to hold that. <laughs> Shot of the locking tuners. I feel like all the guitars now should just have locking tuners. I do too. Yeah, once you use them for a little while, you can't go back. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, they just add an extra level of security to you in a live application where yeah. you're like, it's okay, I'm in tune because it's mm -hmm. locked. It's much yeah. quicker to, to string up as well. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you guys have ever, with the when you wind them and then you take them off and then it flings back and Cuts and, you. Yeah, it takes out your I had a string literally in bed in the back of my hand once. <laughs> I Jeez, had that it too. It was unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, it really hurt. Yeah, so locking tuners just gets rid of that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's hard to go back after you've had them for a little while. I have um, another question. What's up? My question is, talk, can you tell me a little bit about why you chose to have the sort of like race strip down the center and the wings? Is that what, in terms of the visual aspect of the guitar, what was your main reason for doing that? Uh, well, the reason for the... I wanted everywhere that the strings are closely touching to be mahogany, and then to cut out the weight, I decided to use that. So that's where the idea originally came from. Mm -hmm. But also just this this like natural wood finish and this like striped different uh, um, darker tones of wood just made my inner Primus fan really happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, 
playing a playing a, a big like natural wood guitar with too many strings on it just mm. like uh, feels right to me. Yeah, I also <laughs> like that it, it's just stripped back and it shows you what the wood is. Mm -hmm. A yeah. lot of guitar brands will cover everything up as much as possible mm -hmm. with paint and with lacquer and just kind of hide all the you know, multiple joins and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And with this, I, what, I really what you see is what you get. It's WYSIWYG, as we say. Mm -hmm. WYSIWYG? Yeah, WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Oh, okay. You can literally see the wood, you can touch the wood, you can smell the wood. And That's I've, great. Yeah, and I've also noticed that when people will just come over to my house, and people who don't play guitar will come over and look at some of the guitars, they'll, they'll go to the natural wood ones, because those are, those are really nice, those are classy. Yeah. I like these the best, just now they People look. navigate to trees. That's the way yeah. it is, in general. They just mm -hmm. want to be around that tree of life. This is, yeah, I, I, uh, I, think it's, I think it's real classy. It's like a real nice piece of furniture that you play some music on. You're saying you want to sit on it? Is that what you're... Uh, no. Well, um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Is the video over already? Well, I'm afraid so. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, it was that, that quick. In and out, bro. Yeah. Uh, and I, I've restrained loads of sexual innuendos. <laughs> They're all in my head yeah. later on. Cool, I appreciate uh, that. It's been really cool to chat about these. Thank yeah, you so much here. for coming to, all the way to Minnesota. You got it. Um, and uh, hanging out and doing these tings. And I'm really glad that people are enjoying them. They are in stores now. Mm -hmm. You can get them. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Sweet. Bye. Bye. <laughs> should we we so, should do a still. You should have both of these on your on your lap. Both have both of them like that. And then you get we can take Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. like It's good. There you go. Done. Sweet.